Solana staking. Let me answer all the frequently asked questions I think you'll have, show you where to get all the information, and help you work out who you want to go with. Firstly, my name is Seb Monty. My goal is to take you from zero to hero with regards to everything on the Solana blockchain, definitely including staking. Now I am the general manager of validator.com, GM, and this is our Twitter account. This is a DGN HFP project. This is HFP, very bullish on Solana, and if you go through his feed, he's very bullish on NFTs, supporting artists, and making sure education's easy to find. So this is our validator. It's very easy to find at just validator.com. Here you've got everything you need to get started. Rewards, where you can do a little calculation here. Then quick tutorial. Here you can select Phantom, Soulflare, or Ledger, and you can see how you can stake, as well as step-by-step -step instructions, making it very, very easy. It is my suggestion to stake with a ledger when possible. A ledger is known as an offline cold storage wallet, and it's the safest type of crypto wallet. We have a stats section as well. Education is the heart of what we do, and we cover the frequently asked questions here as well. Before I cover the frequently asked questions, what is Solana staking? Here's a short animation to guide you. Staking is where you assign your voting rights to a special Solana computer called a validator. Voting rights are simply the ability to vote on a transaction. They are used by the validator to vote if a transaction was a good or bad transaction. What is delegating? Delegating just means assigning your voting rights of your soul to a validator. It's super simple. All staked soul is delegated. Is staking soul safe? Yes. The Solana software has been audited, which is where computer engineers check the program code by a company called Kuldelsky, which is a leading cybersecurity firm. You can always withdraw your stake from the validator and it is impossible for a validator to ever take your soul. They never have your soul, only the voting rights, which you can withdraw at any stage. Now, I hope you've got a basic understanding of staking. One of the most frequent questions, is it safe to stake my soul? And the answer is yes. People quite often wonder if a validator can take your soul. And the answer is no. Even if the validator turns off the high-end computer, you can still withdraw your Solana. Another important frequently asked question is, does the earned soul compound? And yes, it does. It compounds automatically with every epoch. Let's jump into my phantom wallet and let's have a look at this one here. Epoch by epoch, and an epoch is approximately 2.5 days, this active stake will grow. It will grow and grow and grow. And if you want to know by how much, you just put in one soul. Approximately 7.7% APY, annual percentage yield rewards for you. Now one soul is not very much, of course, but if you had a hundred soul, or a thousand soul or ten thousand soul, then it starts to be a larger amount. I won't go over too much my price predictions for Solana in the next bull run, and what I'm about to say is certainly not financial advice, it's strictly just my opinion. But my prediction is one Solana token, which is currently about $25, will be worth over $500. Now let's quickly cover an epoch. SolanaBeach.io is a block explorer where we can see all the information regarding any transaction. They've got this great visual here that they've had for many moons. And it shows when an epoch is expected to end. So epoch 482 is almost at an end. And in two hours, it becomes 483. You may have noticed in my staking wallet that I've got one stake account, which is still activating. This will say active as soon as this epoch 482 ends and 483 begins. Both of these stake accounts were created earlier. And then at the end of the epoch, beginning of the next epoch, you receive your validator rewards straight into your staking account. And after a week, it will grow, and then a month, it will grow more, etc., etc. The tutorial on how to stake is the previous video. Now we're at a website, stakewiz.com. This is a great website for so many reasons. One of those reasons is we can click on select wallet and more options, and we can see down here, we've got the backpack wallet. If you're using backpack and not phantom, and you can stake and unstake through this website. You can also stake through the website using your phantom wallet, of course, but you can stake in app with the phantom wallet. As you can see, if we go to my stakes, it will load for a second and we can see our stakes. So what's so good about StakeWiz? Well, this shows all of the validators and it assigns a score, a Wiz score. Now the Wiz score is an arbitrary score and it's not super important to me. Quite often the validators with a low stake amount and a low commission will have a higher score. But the things that I look out for are slightly different. Let's have a look at the biggest stakes. The validators with the biggest stakes are the ones that I would avoid. They all play a great part in the ecosystem, of course, but these are in the super minority. So basically from about here up, I would avoid these ones because we want to increase the decentralization. Let's have a look at Soulflare. 
once again, I'm not too focused on the WIS score. If this is trending down, I don't mind too much. What I prefer to see is that this commission is under 5%. 5% or less, this is 6%. And I also want to see very, very few delinquencies. A delinquency is when the validator is not helping the network, which means it's not earning soul for the users. Now, I've only had three delinquencies, six minutes, six minutes, and seven minutes. So that's quite small. I would expect to see one a month when it's time to upgrade the validator software, which is here. Let's have a look at 30 day uptime. This is where we can see delinquent validators. You never want to go with a validator that is delinquent. If a validator is delinquent, it's not earning any rewards for you. There's 30,000 Solana here, not earning any rewards. Most of these validators are probably just turned off and people haven't withdrawn the stake. So we'll exclude these. But let's have a look at this one. There's no extra information, so I'm unsure. Here's an example where a validator has had a difficult time. You can see this validator was basically failing for the last week, which results in a lower APY for the people that are staked with it. This is Phantom's validator. And I think Phantom Wallet is fantastic. And I'm very pleased to see that there are no more delinquencies here. This is definitely not what we want to see. We don't want to see weeks of delinquencies. Even 47 minutes, in my opinion, is too many minutes. This is validator.com. We had eight delinquent minutes. This is when the software was updated. So eight minutes in the last 30 days is fantastic. It's also good to see that the active stake is increasing overall. And a big thing is commission history. Since our validator has started, the commission has never changed. Let me go find one where it has changed. Here's an example of a validator which has changed their commission. Now this is not necessarily bad. They change from 0%, which in my opinion is too low, to 8%, which I guess in my opinion is too high. And it's just been one change earlier this year. The issue is when there's multiple changes and the people staking don't realize this. Here's an example of a validator that keeps changing their commission. They change it to 10% and then 10 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 8, 8 to 10. This isn't the perfect example, but it can sometimes happen that a validator will go from 5 to 20%. And then a few months later, they'll decrease it. And then they'll increase it again and so on. Maybe this is what they're doing. I don't know. But it's good to be consistent because every time it goes to 10%, they're making more commission off your staking rewards and you're getting less. But you may not notice it. So that's an overview of staking. And it's super important to know that if you're not staking your Solana, then the supply is inflating, it's increasing, and you're missing out on rewards that you can get easily. In the next video, I'll show you how you can unstake. And in the intermediate course, we'll go over different types of staking methods that you'll definitely be interested in. So watch the next video now and watch the intermediate video in the near future. Stay curious. Catch you in the next video.